Thanks for watching TechWiki. Click the subscribe button, then enable notifications with the bell icon so you won't miss any future videos. So do you guys remember the last time there was a version 4.0 of something its creators envisioned running on nearly every desktop PC? <laughs> yeah, me too. But don't worry, the subject of today's video isn't an ill-tempered web browser. We'll be looking instead at PCI Express 4.0, the newest revision of the computer bus for your graphics cards and your high-performance SSDs. And like the kind of bus that has tires, PCIe 4.0 has been rather slow to roll its way into our lives. The specification for version 3.0 came out all the way back in 2010. So why exactly has it taken so long? Well, remember that PCIe 3.0 had a maximum speed of almost 16 gigabytes per second in each direction for its full-sized 16x link. That is already blisteringly fast, and the PCI Special Interest Group, which develops the spec, wanted to keep with how previous revisions doubled the speed every time. So basically, it took them a while to figure out how to force 32 gigabytes of data per second each way through the same interconnect. And figure it out they did. But what are the practical benefits? I mean, 3.0's been doing just fine. Who needs that much speed unless they're doing literally nothing but moving 4K video around? Even modern graphics cards don't fully saturate a last-gen PCI Express 3.0 X16 link. So is this more speed just for the sake of it? Well, no, actually. Because PCIe 4.0 can support so much data, it may very well end up being helpful in the sense that it will free up PCI Express lanes, allowing for more devices to connect without any of them being bottlenecked. This is a major concern because even the latest high-end consumer CPUs support just 20 or 24 PCIe lanes directly off the chip, most of which gets immediately consumed by a graphics card, leaving multiple devices competing for bandwidth on a PCIe communications hub of some sort. So, with PCIe 4.0, we could have things like high-speed NVMe SSDs and 10 gigabit Ethernet connections using just one lane each, with nearly two gigabytes in each direction available to them. So now then, I can use the other lanes I freed up for more drives, more high-speed USB, or I don't know, a holographic interface card. Look, I, look, I can't predict the future. And don't forget about notebooks. Thunderbolt, you know that super cool interface that can be used with external graphics cards? Also connects to the PCI Express bus. As it stands today, the ability to run a desktop graphics card outside of the chassis is pretty darn cool, but we've observed some definite performance reductions when we've tested these kinds of setups. So then, with PCIe 4.0's higher speeds and lower latency, the market for external GPU enclosures may get a little more vibrant if they can deliver the same or similar performance to what you'd get with the GPU actually sitting inside your computer. And all of this ignores the data center, where cloud applications for high-speed Optane caches of your feed will help Facebook load a delicious second faster, and where scientists are using supercomputers with dozens or even hundreds of GPUs for climate research and AI development. All of those things are gonna need faster PCIe connectivity too. Now, of course, only time will tell how relevant this new PCI Express revision will be, but if the past is anything to go by, we could end up seeing the first motherboards featuring PCIe 4.0 in mid to late 2018, so you'll be able to see for yourself. With that said, while the faster speeds may not be enough to get you to rush out and buy a new motherboard as soon as they drop, it will be interesting to see how component manufacturers take advantage of the higher bandwidth. If nothing else, maybe we'll see an RGB expansion card with AI on board that proactively adapts the lighting to your mood. Speaking of being proactive, are you finding yourself at the end of the day, whether you're a small business owner or a freelancer, struggling with this frustrating accounting software? 
It's time to get ahead of the issue and switch to FreshBooks. FreshBooks is easy to use. It's cloud-based, so you can access it from anywhere. They've got apps for Android and iOS, and it's got tons of practical benefits as well. It allows you to create and send professional-looking invoices in less than 30 seconds, set up online payments with just a couple of clicks to get paid up to four days faster. It allows you to see when your client has seen your invoice and put an end to the guessing games and more. And FreshBooks is offering a 30-day unrestricted free trial to our viewers, so to claim it, go to freshbooks.com slash techquickie, we've got that linked below, and enter techquickie in the how did you hear about us section. So thanks for watching, guys. Dislike, like, check out our other channels, subscribe, uh, leave a comment if you have a suggestion for a future video. I'm off to go away. I actually have another video to film right now, so I'm not going anywhere. Via Jibo!